when you do 5k in the 4.3 you can only do 30 frames a second like that's weird you should be able to do 24 i guess everybody i heard everybody talking about this update coming in november wow bro bird just shit on the gopro yeah bro that happened So, I got the GoPro 10. Did I need it? No. Did I want it? Yeah. Here it is. The reason I got it was honestly because it did 4K 120, 5K at 60. But really what it was, was the fact that I do 5K to 4-3 ratio. Actually, the 4-3 ratio is something that I'm just kind of getting into. I, I just got a POV drone. I don't have it no more. That's a whole nother video right there. I got the DJI FPV and I didn't like it. Cool drone, good drone to learn on, didn't like the camera. And it just didn't make sense to buy a, a DJI FPV drone and then put a GoPro on top of it. That didn't make no sense. So I definitely want a P FPV drone again, but I'll build my own or get a premium one. Got the GoPro 10, went out, did a street session with it. That's, re that's what I really use my GoPros for. POV photography. Last couple of POV videos I was doing, I was doing it 5K. I'm a huge fan of scaling down. It's no secret when you scale stuff down, it looks sharper. All my drone reels that are on my YouTube video, they're all filmed in 5K. I hardly ever film in 4K. Only when I need to do like an orbiting shot or some type of tracking shot. But just like with my camera, I spend so much time in manual. I don't use auto anything. Just I, just, I spend a lot of time learning how to do it. So when I fly my drone, the DJI Air 2S, I fly in manual, everything manual. I want that 5K, 10 bit. I render everything out in 4K, so I scale down. Everything looks sharper when you scale down. I mean, I, I don't have the numbers to back it up, but I, me personally, I think the smaller your pixels, the sharper everything looks. Any type of noise, it's shrunk down, it looks better, it looks smaller. So what really sold me on the GoPro Hero 10 was the fact that I could do 5K in the 4-3 ratio. And what's good about the 4-3 ratio to me is you, you see more. You see more top, you see more bottom. It's more information. Information is, is king. Knowledge is power, right, in the real world. And in your video, more information. The difference between 8-bit and 10-bit is more information. The difference between 16 by 9 and 4 by 3 is more information. And with that, that more information, when you throw that GoPro reframe in there, or in Premiere Pro, um, you know, it just looks sweet, it looks nice. My last couple POV videos, they've been 5K, but they've been a 16 by 9, so I felt like, I just felt like I was missing something, bro. That's what it was. I really, like, I was looking at these POV videos, and they just looked better than mine. They looked so much better, and what it was, is I was filming a 16 by 9, and these guys were filming in that 4-3 ratio, and then taking it in Premiere Pro, and stretching the, the edges out, and it just looks so much better. So here's my last, here's my last street POV video. And here's this POV video. You see the difference there? There's just more information in my opinion. It just looks better. I don't know, it's just that 5K, 4.3 ratio stretched out looks way better. So my settings, let me just go over this real quick because that's a question that somebody's inevitably going to ask in a YouTube video. So the settings that I use when I go street, obviously 5K, 30 frames per second. I never film at 30 frames per second. That was, the, that was the one thing that I was complaining about, and that's what I was complaining about when my bird shit on the GoPro, was that there's no 24 frames per second. Even, even I'm not even talking about 5.3K, I'm talking about 5K. At 5K, 4.3 ratio, it's only 30 frames per second. And I thought that was so odd. I never film in 30, I always, always film in 24 frames. So like when I film in 30, I can slow it down in the 24 frame timeline. Same with 60, same with 120. All my videos on YouTube were all 24 frames, except my last drone reel, that last drone reel at FNM College, that was 30 frames per second and I rendered it on a 30 frame timeline. Just because I didn't want to slow it down. Like I felt like a lot of my scenes were taking time to build up. So I didn't want to slow it down anymore. Again, my setting, 5K, 30 frames, 4-3 ratio, the lens wide, hyper smooth standard, I don't want to crop, bit rate high, obviously, more information, information more information better we've been over that shutter auto i keep the shutter on auto i don't when i'm doing street photography i don't worry about nd filters i don't care about shutter you're not watching you're, anybody that's watching my POV videos they're not watching them for cinematic appeal cinematic value you want to see where i'm at what i'm doing and the pictures really i gotta work on talking more because there's times in there where you see me adjusting 
I'm making adjustments and you guys watching really don't know what I'm doing. Work on talking out loud more so that you guys under, understand what I'm doing. Like that one scene where I'm at the courthouse and I shoot the road close on. The first shot is like my normal 4 f4 maybe f2.8. The second shot in there I open my aperture up to f8 so I can get a sunburst. I was trying to get that sunburst off the reflection of the building. You can't tell when you're watching that. You can't tell that I'm opening the or I'm closing down the aperture to f8. Now you do I'm telling you but in the video you can't. There's a couple times where I go back and forth. EV comp I keep it negative one white balance auto ISO the min 100 max is 400 and that's it. The sharpness I keep it, I keep low. I don't know why that was high. low sharpness. The, oh, that's an that's another thing. The GoPro 10 has the colors, right? You have vibrant, which is regular GoPro color. Then you got flat. Then you got in the middle there. You got natural. That's the new feature on the GoPro 10s is that natural color. And this whole entire video, that this POV video that I'm going to show you, the whole thing is natural i didn't color grade it at all i tried i actually went to color grade a little bit and i didn't like it i completely straight from the camera natural settings and that's my gopro that's the settings that i have for the 10. i hope you guys like the video but yeah check this out this is my first my first uh street pov video with the gopro 10. it's my first time doing a talking headpiece too hope this sounds all right i hope this nose ain't all up in your face all right, bro. Come on, let's see.
Oh man. <laughs> I got I'm just my damn dentist appointment Monday. So oh no, that's terrible. My daughter, my daughter decided to hump dig on a freaking trip to Florida. And I grew up down there, so I have been there since my grandmother died. Yeah. I've raised by an all black town. So when she died I thought the white part of this and the black part of this is over, so fuck it. Yeah. So I left well I was dead ass wrong. This woman left me a house and everything. I didn't know anything. Oh man, I love that shit. Purple man. Oh yeah. My, my, my daughter just did that for me. That's cool. I, I do test, but I don't do it anymore unless I got stencil. Yeah. If you draw it, I'll do it. But I broke my hand. I can't do no shading or nothing like that with this one. This one's the one I work with. Yeah. Now. But, yeah, man. That's what I'll tell you. It's probably between five and six times our age. What? I think, yeah. I think oh, yeah. I'm, I'm yeah, I got plenty of pictures of you. talking about that I'm, statue yes, or the I'm whole. 50 years old. Oh, yeah. And that thing was before I was. McDonald's wasn't even I was born behind McDonald's. Yeah. Man. But, hey, man, I like that tattoo. Man. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks for not getting mad for letting me take your picture. Oh, no doubt. My I'll just walk around just I, capturing I history. I'm not mad at that history, my thing. I like social history. I like looking at pictures, like I like going on Facebook and all that and seeing pictures from places like 50 years ago. Oh, right. I like looking this at the old crazy. cars. And I went to Barrett. I can't find out where it's at now. I couldn't. We were just coming big riding around, right? Yeah. We were down at Tough Pond Campground. We were riding around and ended up in um, um, somewhere between uh, Sunrise and Maryland, somewhere around that area. Yeah. And there was this freaking, um, we walked into it. It had the big gates. It had the big grow rules on it. And all yeah, that sounds stuff. cool. Oh, my God. I've been trying to figure out for the last Was it abandoned years. or just? No, it wasn't. No? Well, I don't know abandoned. I would say just not taken care of. Yeah, I like, I like but, stuff like that. But it's like you go in there, man, and I had a hard... It's a big place. Yeah. You go through the graveyard and all that kind of stuff. That's what it was. It was a graveyard. And I walked through there, and they had. And I, I will give them this. They didn't let the kids in there to tear up nothing. So yeah. All the gravestones. Places like that, I probably get the drone out and take oh, pictures yeah, from up top. Yeah. I just, I ain't gonna lie. I used to do bad things with the drone. Yeah. <laughs> I, I deliver my marijuana. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's how they get stuff in the prisons. They fly the drones over and drop I them off in the yard. The they do. I'm not gonna yeah. lie. I've been there too. Yeah. You gotta I, remember my white boy, all black neighborhood. Who do you think they yeah, had yeah. to go at 14, 15 years old? Yeah, no. <laughs> Sarah Park Heaven. Yep. Park <laughs> And then a dumbass got hooked. My brother says, You a bad hustler. Oh, they man. told me this last week. Yeah. I get this here. He been doing this since he was 15 years old. He stopped. He's in church and everything else. He used the money for other things and everything. Yeah. Man, I don't know what I was doing. I was chasing this little girl because she was 99% mine. <laughs> that, that, that's what this is love. Yeah. Or even my, my love wine. Yeah. But at the same time, I'm chasing her around. You, have to have, you gotta fuck the bitch in order to see your kid. It's really kind of fucking weird. I got a girlfriend <laughs> for 17 years. So yeah. then the, the old lady got tired. That she gave me a girlfriend thinking that was the case. I said, that ain't what the deal is about. I said, the deal is every time I go to the ex to see my kid, even though you got the visitation rights for me every week, if I don't, I get kicked the fuck out. Yeah. So at the end of the day, she's 23 now and decides, I want to see if you're really telling me the truth about this black family and everything else. <laughs> Get down there with 150 bucks, and I'm having to ask these people for money to get back. Oh man! But it was a no problem. So it's just 
you know, your name's still on the deed of the house, the grandma's house. I said, what you mean? I didn't know that. I'm homeless up here. You think I, yeah. I'll be down there if I know that. Facts. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, yeah. But he made rooms out of the house and puts, oh man, it's Nick. Down to Florida? Yeah. For a black guy and all that there, all the family and everything else. He got his own business and everything else. Yeah. Got, oh, Yo. You go down there, you can play war games, all kind of stuff in his yard. He got yeah, yeah, yeah. Stuff, <laughs> paint guns, older bikes, all that stuff. I said, man, I don't want nothing. I'm too old for all that there. I just want to be able to live and sit on the porch. Yeah. You know, that kind of thing. I got, I'm going to take a picture of this Go truck ahead, right here. Hey, who's yeah. good talking to you? Hey, don't, I, I keep Skittles. Skittles? Like candy. <laughs> yeah, you funny shit. <laughs> oh, man. All right, man. <laughs>
don't know if it's this lens or if I took something off in the setting, but like it just doesn't track with the, with the tracking all the photos. And I think it might be here's all the focus enable. Let's try it out once. There we go. It seems to be tracking now. It might have been it.
Well, that's it from our first street photography session with the GoPro Hero 10. The 5K 4.3 aspect ratio. I was a little surprised though. Like, when you do 5K in the 4.3, you can only do 30 frames a second. Like, that's weird. You should be able to do 24. I guess everybody, I heard everybody talking about this update coming in November. Wow, bro, bird just shit on the GoPro. Look at that. Dude, that's crazy. You probably, I'm gonna take a picture of this. A bird literally just shit on the GoPro. That's insane, bro. Seriously, like why would it do that? Look at that. Oh well. That's crazy. I'm sitting here talking about how like what I don't like about it and a bird shits on it. Like, bro, can you wait until I'm done shitting on it first before you shit on it? Now what do I do? So in order for me to turn this off, I gotta put my finger in bird shit. <laughs> oh well. So that's another thing. This this Hero 10, the screen, the touch screen, if, if you're on the fence about going from a, a 9 to a 10, the touch screen on the 10 alone is enough. Oh my God, I can't tell you how many times I got so frustrated with the Hero 9 and I'll be touching it, touching it, touching it, and it's not responding, not responding. This screen on here is like a, it's like, it's almost like a smartphone, bro. It really is. That's, I don't know why they turn that on. See, this is, this is my first talking headpiece because I'm not built for this. I'm not, like I, I, well, mainly the reason I don't do the talking headpiece is I don't have the audio. Like I'm, I got a Rode mic right now, a stereo Rode mic on there. One of them little Jones. Like, let me, let me turn that on. I can't believe this. My first talking headpiece. Bro. Bro, I'm not, I'm not cut out for this talking head stuff. It was mainly I don't have the, the audio. I feel like I got the lights. Like, how you guys like my lights? It's that's a that's a Forza 200. That's a Nam a Nam light Forza 200. Then I got the the, the Lido light back there to give me some some light there. And that's it. That's my style. One light, accident light. I don't have no hair light. You know, I want that I want that shadow over here. Mainly that sh I got that shadow here because I got I got these pimples right here. But as long you can't see it right now. And like, you know, all my edits, all my pictures, they're like dark. My Instagram dark mode, like everything's dark. So that's just how it is. Uh, I like that half, I like the shadows. What do you call that? The far near side lighting, far side lighting? What's the lighting that they use in Hollywood? Where the shadow side is more towards the camera? That's my style. But yeah, my first talking headpiece. I mean, I got the lights, I just don't have the audio. I definitely don't have the face, I don't have the voice, and I sure as hell don't have the nose. I am not cut out for this.